welcome back for what I think is our, will be our final portion of uh, this. Uh, all right. Bring up material editor again. I'm just going to grab these little elements here, the pole. I'll make them white. Let's put in a ground plane. Phone call. Be right back. Okay, so ground plane, blah, blah, blah. One, two, three. One, two, three. I just make sure everything here is zeroed out. Another irritating problem I have. We'll assign this material. Alright, we're just going to do a little experiment here. <coughs> Excuse me. I right, drop a skylight in here. Okay, and now uh, render out a frame. Alright. This is what we got. Also, if you right click the name of the view here, perspective, uh, show safe frame. This uh, this gives you an accurate shot of what your actual your camera will be capturing. I'm gonna change the dimensions of the video before we output it. Uh, maybe you know what? This might not even be the final portion. I forgot we're gonna do a little bit of camera shake in the uh, via noise float in the curve editor here in a little bit. First things first, again, uh, render out that frame. Okay, in order to uh, get some shadows in here, we have to open our render, whatever this is here. Open this up. Just uh, I know people want to take you all around the world on how to get this to look right. There's two ways you can do it. You can highlight your sky and then cast shadows and render that alright so you could do it just by doing that I like to uh, do it through here like people want to run you through all kinds of uh, fancy settings and stuff like that I just go to advanced lighting no light plugin light tracer and that does everything for you that last frame took forever, by the way. This way is much quicker. That last frame took two and a half minutes. Forget about it. This one will take about uh, 28 seconds, maybe. See, there's that. How long did that take? 23 seconds. All right. So we got it anyway. So that's how you work that. Uh, what we want to do now is we'll take this ground plane and we'll add a, a map to that. Uh, well, we'll just change it from standard to matte shadow. Which means that the background, like I said at the beginning, the back or the uh, the whole ground plane will be completely invisible, unless there's a shadow cast onto it or a glow or something of that nature, unless something's interacting with it. So let's see what that looks like. So that's what that looks like. All right, now there will be no horizon line. There'll be nothing. You know, it's just a. Uh, a flag out in the middle of nowhere, waving, tattered and torn. Okay, we have 300 frames locked away in this. What I did in the other tutorial, or the other one I was just doing for fun, if you hit Control C. It will make a camera out of your viewport you're looking through. So you now, remember, Alt W brings you out of full screen like that. Oh, and I forgot about this. We can take all of the polys out of here. 
one and one. See, now we have a camera added, though. At frame one, I keep that orthographic. At frame zero, uh, what did I do? Oh, I just, I just zoomed it. That's right. Okay, uh, this is a field of view. It's lower that and it zooms. Alright. This is basically all I did. I just started out at, uh, I think it was 7 actually. 7. And you let that rock and roll for like 50 frames like that. Uh. You can raise it to 45. That's the original setting. 45, I'll move to uh, 65. Down here, hold down shift and drag this into 50. Alright, so. This is what that'll look like. And you know what? We'll just move this right out to. Uh, 120 and again it's all in your preference one fifty one fifty looks about right and at one fifty what we'll do is we'll uh, We'll move both of these down. We'll go back to this. Make sure this stays here. Alright. So that's basically all the animation I did with the camera. And then I added a point it's like a dummy but only more control um, box uh, 500 zero that out eight and a half minutes deep All right, well, we're not gonna be able to finish in that amount of time so I'm gonna cut it here and I promise the next part will be the last portion so I'll see you then